Welcome to Time to Play GoldenEye, part 10. Now I am about to start the statue level. Or I will come in contact with Valentine, who is in the movie. He's like an old enemy of James Bond. So yeah, this level right here, it's kind of a maze because all these freaking statues that are going to be in the way and stuff. So if you remember the movie, you know what's going to happen here. This is where Bond meets Yanis for the first time. Or is it the first time he's met Yanis? Right, so here we go. Man, that guy was shooting non-stop like Rambo. I like how these guys roll. They roll all slow, thinking they're fancy, trying to outmaneuver me. Where'd you come from? Am I using the silencer? Might as well not do that. Well, well, again, it's fun to toggle between all these guns. These are one of my favorites right here. And for those of you who are just joining this LP, yes, I am cheating. I've been cheating the entire time. This game is a lot more fun when you cheat. Yes, I want to use these guns from now. <laughs> nice hat, nice colorful hat. He got killed by the paint fumes. All right. Love this track right here. It sounds heroic, like I'm winning right here. And it's starting to get all heroic and stuff. All right, so let me try to found, find, found. Let me try to find Valentine. I know he's hiding in an orange trailer. It's been a while since I've played this level. It's been a while since I played this whole game. Sometimes you get lost. It can kind of be amazed. All these freaking statues, and blocks, and tanks, whatever the heck these are. What? Hey, oh, thanks for helping me find Valentine. All right, here we go. I think they saw me come. Yeah, they're about to come in here. These are strange times. Yeah, your face is strange. A little different from the movie right here. These two actually meet in Valentine's office, not so much in the park, but anyway. I know I don't expect the game to be exactly like the movie, so I'm not really complaining, but just saying. All right, get out of here before I shoot you. Now, actually, Valentine's pretty cool. He's kind of a cool villain. All right, so time to find that statue of where I'm supposed to meet Yanis and his men. Look over here real quick. What is all this stuff? Yeah, I did a quick cut right there because I had to stop. And Idiots just blew himself up. Or someone meant to hit me, hit me with a grenade and then ended up blowing up their partner. Idiots. All right, so. Trying to find that statue. I'm probably going the wrong way here. I think it's somewhere on my right. <laughs> I like how you shoot him in the helmet. And you can see the paintball residue. and it looks cool. What is this, a soup Nazi? No soup for you! Alright, now we gotta find that statue. Come on now. You gotta hear you, douchebag. Oh. I think this is the right path right here. Wait. Now ah, you missed. Yes, it is. All right. Now we're going toward the statue. 
Not the Statue of Liberty, but the Statue of ECW. All right, this is where I meet Yanis, so I gotta wait for them to come out. There they come. No, maybe put the gun away. Go after him, see where he goes. <laughs> yeah, I know I failed the mission, but I'll come back to that later. Hey, where'd he go? He's fast. Oh, I barely see him. I think I've done this before. I don't know if I actually follow him to where he's going to stop and disappear. Just like I followed the room off in the facility. There he is. Got to get him. Of course, I know I can't kill him, but... It's fun to still chase him. Oh, oh you're dead. Wait, so... <laughs> He can't make him his mind where he's going. I guess it's the farthest he goes. Yeah, all right. Let me see what happens when I go after him without shooting him. <laughs> he still runs. Yeah, you better run, punk. All right, for real this time. Let's find out who this Yanis is. What? Alec? Trevelyan 006? What? Wow. Why, Alec? I trusted you, Alec. So, Alex's been alive for this past nine years. Wow. All right, so here we go. Yeah, right. Like this knife's going to do something. Well, could I mean they can't kill me yeah let me get my AR 99 whatever the heck it's called where's that not the Cougar Magnum the most powerful handgun in the world where is that oh wait I think I'll just pass it up idiot now, I just seen it there it is AR 33 all right gotta get to the helicopter Two minutes 45 seconds uh no don't what don't go up the ramp what is this excite bike yeah roll out of here once we get lost again the helicopter blows up those guys are using my favorite shotgun in the game no time to goof off and find Natalia Dang it. Oh, I thought I got stuck again. Man, am I going in circles again? Am I going the right path? That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. All right, found the chopper. Get up. Get up. All right, come run this way. It's a cool scene in the movie where they were in the helicopter strapped in there and the way uh, Bond escaped with Natalia, that was pretty cool. All right, helicopter's destroyed. Now we're gonna find the flight recorder. Oh, there it is. Well, it made it easy for me this time. Alright, now, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, shoot, what? Hey! Who are you, douchebag? Michigan. For those of you who don't know, this is the same actor. The same actor plays Michigan, played as the bad guy in Bad Boys, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. No, I remember who you are in Bad Boys. Get out of here. 
No! You killed Natalia! You all die! Ah! All right, let's get for real this time. Let's get out of here. <laughs> they didn't even unarm him. They let him walk out with the gun still in his hand. Smart. Well, anyway, that is the end of part 10. I will see you guys in part 11 in the archives. Until then, God bless and take care.